Are you someone who's looking at starting uh, your own restaurant and uh, are looking at what you should do and how you should go about starting a business? I'm here to help you figure out how you can do this in the easiest way possible. This is Dheeraj Gupta, founder and managing director Jumbo King, the burger born in India. So, uh, you know, I, I meet a lot of entrepreneurs who uh, have this dream of getting into the restaurant business, the fast food business. And now, especially with the lockdown behind us, there is a lot of renewed energy and enthusiasm. And people, you know, really want to forget about what have, have, has happened over the last two years and get on with their lives. And, uh, you know, I think uh, while the restaurant business on the surface uh, looks like an industry where there is, you know, very high margins, very difficult to lose money in this business. It and this looks like a business which will, you know, always be around. It has been around for the last, you know, hundreds of years, and it will continue to remain as long as humans are going to feel hungry, which is going to be literally forever. However, I think at the same time, uh, the unfortunate news is during the lockdown, you know, uh, we were looking at what was happening around us in the restaurant business. And most of the standalone stores, which are, you know, people who are trying to do business on their own, they really, really struggled to make do ends meet because there were no systems in place, COVID hit us hard, as well as, you know, there were multiple uh, uh, lockdowns. The first wave came, there was a lockdown, then we allowed to start. Then within three months, again, the second wave came and everything had to get shut down. Then, uh, you know, uh, when the second wave was getting over we were all you know hit smack in the face with the third wave and which made the whole process really really difficult and uh, there is statistics that almost 60 percent of standalone restaurants are not even going to open for business after the third wave and this is evident from the fact that we have so many new properties which are becoming available to us for taking up on great rentals now, it is not in the franchise business. So like in our business, also there were shutdowns. Some of the stores could not survive because the, the landlords did not uh, you know, uh, allow the rental waivers during the third wave. However, I think the pain was much lesser. There were fewer number of stores which suffered and a large 80% majority of the stores have been able to tide over this and are now going to you know, grow at a very, very rapid pace. So my advice, you know, to anyone who wants to start a restaurant business, what I want you to consider is one is that you won't get into the business because it is, uh, you know, uh, pretty much an in industry which is going to continue for a long time. Margins are good and, uh, uh, you know, it is a business which uh, you are passionate about. So why not take up a franchise? The advantages would be systems are made, uh, the product comes ready to you, which is actually the biggest pain point of the restaurant business. I have seen you know, people who spend as entrepreneurs 80% of their time on the back end of the business, getting the supplies, ensuring quality is maintained on the raw material, then you know, coordinating with their cooks to ensure that the food quality is consistent and most of them burn out because of the huge amount of effort required. This is a business which has to be done 365 days of the year. And you have to, you know, literally cook every day, get the quality right every day. And once, you know, the initial passion, which, you know, for some people lasts for a month, some, some people it lasts for a year, after that, you know, wears down, then they start to feel the drudgery of running a restaurant. It is, it is a difficult business to be in. What franchising does is it helps the entire back end is outsourced to factories. You know, you get all the material ready made. So you can actually focus on what, uh, you know, really matters, which is the consumer facing side of the business, interacting with customers, providing great service, you know, providing uh, uh, great products and growing your business. And uh, I think another very important factor to consider is that most of the first time rest restaurateurs one is either they are not around after the first one year or second even if they manage to survive uh, they don't have the energy left in them to put up a second store and grow in the franchising business there is an 80 percent chance of success that you will get uh, things working because there's an entire operating system which is working for you and uh, you know and it, it just removes the entire uh, the pain out of the uh, you know we say that we make the restaurant business easy 
and that is why uh, you know you should join uh, you know us or any other franchise uh, after doing your due diligence and second is because you are enjoying the process of running the business you can actually scale up your business to a second store and a third store where your effort does not double or become triple because it is the same system which is going to service you we have franchisees within our system who have scaled up their business to the fourth and the fifth store and you know they have aspirations of going up to 10 stores or more now what happens is they realize the value addition that comes in uh, in terms of how easy it becomes to operate a uh, a, a restaurant so i think uh, the food industry is just getting started india is a hugely underserviced market and uh, you know there are brands like jumbo king which you know uh, are are going to come and uh, you know meet the, the the needs of the people and we are inviting like minded people to come and join us uh, who are willing to put in the the work required put in the smart work which is required to succeed in the business uh, i'm sure that you will have questions i'll be very happy to answer them uh, please do write to us and uh, you know this is how we learn this is how we all grow i'm very passionate about the food business and i'm looking for like minded people to come and join us so that we can you know uh, go ahead and build the largest burger chain in the country thank you so much see you next time bye